Conceive, believe, achieve. This is former UFC middleweight champion of the world, Michael Bisping. Paddy the Baddy here. You're listening to Combat Sports UK. And you're watching Combat Sports UK. Bruce Neelock. Bam. Well, there we are, guys. Another k Royce Academy Wales in the books. How was that for you two tonight? Stressful. Stressful. <laughs> it was a tough, tough show today. It's, it's the worst show we've had. Yeah. Not the worst as in, like, you've probably delivered production and all the rest. Will you take it off? No. It's worse for, you know... Guy pulling out the 20 to 5, not, not on. Totally, I know it's amateur, but I say we're unprofessional and ethical. Um, we lost the fight then, the second fight in the night. The kid was the kid was not well. I had to pull it. You know, two fights pulled, but still 17 fights, which is why we finished so early. You know, we used to do 23 fight cards. Um, but yeah, if it was a good night, the, the crowd was good, the, the atmosphere seemed good for what I did see. Um, I'll watch it back on the stream on fightworld.tv uh, tomorrow. Pay per view, pay per view done really well. Um, really good numbers on, on the pay per view. But no, some good fights. I think the highlight uh, for me personally was, was Levi Bachelor. I felt he was brilliant tonight. Uh, and you've got to talk about your own trauma. 16 year old kid yeah. have been ill for two weeks with a really bad staph infection, antibiotics, shouldn't have really fought. He was out on his feet at the end of the second round, exhausted. And, you know, I said, give me 180 seconds, and he's given us three minutes of work, and he's won ugly. That's the character of the kid. 16 and digging in against a really physically strong guy, wasn't it? Let's be honest. Uh, and I still say it, not his best performance, but he's still going to be the best fight in the UK to produce. We've just briefly touched upon Yo and Thomas Levi Batchelor, but there's also one other guy I want to touch upon from Shrine Lake, Kean Hall. Yeah. Four wow. seconds left. In yeah, the yeah. Brings up Ke- Kean is like the nicest, most quiet kid. You don't even know he's in the gym. He doesn't say a word. But he's as tough as old boots, you know. He, he's He's got that fighting spirit in him. And he's a lovely kid with it. And he's jujitsu second and none, as we've seen there. You know, he's never out of the fight if he's in, on his back. But yeah, brilliant. So, and I want to talk about submissions, Josh in that flying triangle. And he listened, we was calling Anna Corner, believe it or not. You know, for us as SMU, the reputation of wrestling getting top position. We called the um we called the pull guard bank because he, he's deadly with that triangle. He'll he'll cause problems, Josh, in that, in that division. That's his first fight and uh, he's capable of good things we train Jazz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go good ticket seller, good you know, good fan base behind him already. I mean, we know this is a home of submissions. Every single car we come to is just stacked with all the best submissions. Where does that flying triangle rank on the list of submissions? Because that's got to be one of the best. God, be honest, I haven't seen much of the fights tonight, so I'm going to have to watch it back on a yeah. pay-per-view tomorrow. No, listen, how often do you know, cage warriors selling highlight reels of Paddy Pullman pulling it off, innit? You know what I mean? So, for the kid to do it in his first fight and have the confidence to do it. Um, and the, the lad he's fighting, no joke, you know, he's from, from a reputable gym, he's got um, a lot of fights with him. Six fights, yeah. you know, against Josh in the debut, so yeah, we're pleased with that. Um, one of the best. I won't say the best because there's been some really good submissions over the years with us, but uh, that's something we'd want to. We'll do that on ten-year anniversary. We'll do the best submissions yeah. of the year. Yeah, you need a nice little compilation yeah. on YouTube. That would yeah. be beautiful. But yeah. we just mentioned that it was on pay view tonight. You had Brett Johns on commentary. Brilliant. I know you haven't listened to it, but well, listen, just we've just listened to a fight Have now. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. I can't we, wait. Yeah. I'm just saying to the guys on the production. Rex IQ and knowledge yeah. of enemy second and then we've been just laughing but like there's 280 odd UFC events, pick any fight you want, Brett will tell you what event it was on. And, and I'll, I'll so be well. But he's he's used to working on cameras, you know, he's been on S4C delivering um, programs and uh, chat shows, speaking in Welsh, English. You know, he's been speaking in front of that camera, he's a, he's a consummate pro and he's got a really good IQ. He's one of the best fighters in the world, he's so don't ask for anybody better on the commentary. And and you know, let's not knock Joe either, Joe Robbins, he does his own podcast. A pair of them really matched up well as a team. I think they'll make a good addition to the yeah, show yeah, going forward, they will. I mean, it looks like we'll have James Gallagher versus uh, Brett Johns going forward. New we'll year. see, we'll see. Hopefully, I believe it when it's signed. We can all hope. Do you see a future with Brett Johns in commentary? 100% after watching what yeah, he's just yeah. done there. Listen, Brett will be successful what he does because he's a good lad, he's got a good art, and he's got a good work ethic, and um, he's such a likeable kid as well. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I think whatever, you know, it'll be a career for him somewhere. Yeah, and now Cage Warriors has a little break, Cage Warriors Academy Wales anyway. The, what from I can see is the next one is in March, is that correct? Yeah. March 25th, 25th, March 25th. March 25th. 20, 23. Um, and we'll be spreading our wings a bit next year as well. We've got a show book for Cardiff. We won't confirm no dates not yet, but we'll be doing a Cardiff event. Um, possibly four, maybe even five shows next year, depending on, uh, on the schedule. Will we see Rich, Rich and Shore out in Cardiff after? No. Out on the town, no? <laughs> Not too miserable, too grumpy. <laughs> Last year, I can't even remember. However, I know we've got one in March, but it's not a quiet month ahead. We've got obviously Oban, Josh Reed fighting. Yeah, on so I've got Oban and Josh now November 4th. Yeah, yeah. And then November 12th, I've got Scotty Penson 
uh, Steph Evans, I'm sure Wayne Williams will be fighting, and uh, a couple of amateurs as well. Brilliant. Thank you very much, guys. Congratulations no on the brilliant night. Yeah. Cheers, Dad.